Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we will continue talking about pets. Uh, as you already know, we did uh, Snow Peak Rock, we did uh, Sapphire Fair Drake, we did Berserker's Fair, Berserker Fair Drake, we did uh, Frost Bear, and now it's time to do a Stripe Bear, which is one of the most cutest ones, if we just look at the looks. But let's see how strong it is and how it's how we can how it's able to be played in the game uh, as always uh, i will first say the quality matters as you can see finally i got my legendary uh, pet through regenerate and as you can see there's a lot of s lot of a if we compare it to elite one there is a lot of c's which are bad and uh, epic ones which are B, B, B. Epic should have one A, but that's fine. I will try to change it. So quality matters. Try to get legendary one. 30% is a lot. Uh, let's at first talk about uh, attributes. Which attribute will be good for this pet? Uh, it's a tank pet. Uh, same as Frostbear, but it has a different gameplay. Uh, as as every uh, tank pet, endurance is the most important uh, attribute. Uh, after that, in my opinion, there is like strength, there is spirit, and it can be luck. I don't think intelligence and agility will be good on this uh, pet. So that's my opinion: endurance, strength, and spirit. The main skill uh, to strap bear is a friendship. Uh, which is basically healing spell like every time your legion is healed by a hero skill it can it gains a vigor and vigor is hp bonus for five seconds and every hundred healing factor increases vigor effect by 0 0.16 well uh, i'm sure everybody has tried to capture this tribe bear and there is a struggle when this tribe bear during capturing heals uh, like a lot like almost the half so that's the gameplay of the tribe bear in general, healing, right? So through this uh, healing gameplay, we can uh, build this pet, pet in a way that there is a synergy. As every main talent skill, it has a, one upgrade, upgraded one, which is tough friendship, which again is giving vigor and uh, also takes 2.2% less pet skill damage. So its, uh, its synergy is around vigor and it's around healing. So uh, it will be better if the overall skills will be around like HP, uh, heal, uh, health regeneration, like debuff, uh, effect removal and so on. So at first, of course, friendship, uh, then I would go to tough friendship. After that, I think uh, Legion HP uh, robust body will be amazing because uh, it, it should it should stack like higher your HP more you're gonna get heals. Uh, after that I think the debuff uh, effect removal can be pretty good, but it depends where you will use uh, this pet on which heroes. Maybe these heroes already have these effects or, like regarding removal of the buffs. After that, uh, like anything that can give you like. A, uh, HP regeneration, like even enemy legion attack mitigation can be good, uh, and it's determined by endurance. Like uh, we already have like four spells which can have a good synergy, like friendship, tough friendship, robust body, uh, bristles, uh, and the pure strength. And as you can see, uh, this one is determined by strength. This one determined by endurance this one determined by spirit uh, this one determined by endurance this one determined by spirit so uh, the as i said like endurance strength and spirit should be the most important attributes uh, for this pet uh, now let's speak about uh, on which heroes uh, this striper stripe bear will be good i'm sorry uh, and there is couple, right? Uh, like same as every pet, there is couple choices. Uh, and in my opinion, one and the most like obvious one should be Garwood, because vigor is gained whenever your legion is getting healed, 
And as you already know, here is healing factor, which is like basically heal. Also like uh, healing received bonus, like more heals you're gonna get. So like here is obvious uh, synergy uh, towards Tribeer and Garwood. Uh, it's like pretty obvious, like everybody should be, uh, should understand this. Uh, and also second one, in my opinion, it should be in this. Well, I'm sure almost every Call of Dragons player is using in this in this uh, through gathering, but uh, like if you will try it, if you will test it, in this is very very good uh, legendary hero, and also we are getting uh, like tokens through Dragon Trail, right? And it's easy to upgrade these skills. Like every day you are just playing, you can upgrade the skills of Indies. Also, the late on the latest patch, they uh, buffed Indies, so it sh she should be more powerful. So why uh, Indies can have a synergy with Tribe right? Same again, healing factor, the damage taken bonus. Healing factor is important for Tribe Bear. It's just gathering. Uh, HP bonus also can be good and counter attack uh, taken reduction well if you like i have never seen garwood and uh, in this f first and secondary hero pairings but like we we can use striper like only for garwood and striper uh, only for indies at first like i'm sure you need to understand how to use her but uh, I will try to make a video on how you can use Indies in the battlefield. She's not bad, she's not amazing, she, she can be good. That's my opinion. So we have two heroes where you can use Tribe Beer. Uh, we know which kind of skills will be good for uh, Tribe Bears, like playing through friendship. And remember, like every uh, pet has a couple of playstyles. And whenever you are finding new skills, uh, you can change the playstyle easily. So it was Stripebear's turn to have a guide. And next one, I think, uh, like I should check. Maybe it will be Golden Rock. I don't know. Like maybe some lizards. Uh, I hope you like this video. I'm. I will finish like one by one guides through pets because pets are like latest update and latest latest. Uh, things that is new in the game and whenever I find out uh, new stuff, new synergies, new values, I try to make a video. Uh, thanks for watching, it will be amazing if you will click like uh, or even comment your question or maybe your different idea about building this pet. Bye-bye! Uh,